sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods, sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Fall death to start with. I barely escaped in Edurn. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails, and the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in the killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his neck. Time to go. Do you have a deal, Elf? Plotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. Bad time of the month. Witcher, we're waiting. Witch's ass is gonna have to get wet. Jump! Witcher, we're waiting. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Yulveth rules the forest. it belong to? The Orvath, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that? Hear that? I smell an elf. Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting, laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One to one less.
We need him alive. No any useful spells? Get his attention. I need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! <laughs> You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shay, sneaking around forests. Helpless, yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the square tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Triss, now! Ah! That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you all right? Lovely. You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Spell's still working. Stay close. What is uh, happening? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must find our way toward Flux. Yes! Get your hands off my ass. Yeah. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour one of your commandos. I'm a woman. Oh, yes. Yes. I'll die holding a lovely ass. Come on, let's go. Bitches. What's happening? All I see are your boots. What the hell is that trading post? I'm starting to think we'll make it. Yeah. Wait. The barrier's waiting. Trace! No! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Get up! Kill them now! You're Scoil and solid sacking! Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mind of them! Ready yourselves! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah, the Kingslayer and Yorveth. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. 
Emir Var Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. And the woman? My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Spice merchant. Not like it. Jorvet led them. I saw him with my own eyes. Good day. Who are these blokes? They're the ones the elves were chasing. Assault by the broad daylight. Howdy. Welcome, Rito. Huh? Where's the commandant? Hello. Mm. on. What's a witcher? They always bring trouble. We've all heard what the witcher did in Vizima. Blood flows wherever the Witcher goes. Welcome. Bah. What are you looking at? Oh no, I'm not talking to a freak. Wait a minute. Be off, or I'll call the guards. Mutants pursuing me! <laughs> I think the stew's ready. Quiet woman. Artist at work. You might want to stir it. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I work for the team. When I see you at the hanging, friend. Ah, some hanging. A bunch of non humans and a spy. I Hurry up, people, or you'll miss it. Greetings. Greetings. I see even Flotsam has its ghetto. We're in Temeria, aren't we? Non-humans are to blame for everything. Cattle plague, higher taxes. Let them live, so long as it's far away and not for too long. Are you deaf? Gates closed until further notice. I've had enough. The Commandant will hear of this. No, oh, go to hell! When will you open the gates, soldier? After the execution. Cedric will peer out, confirm that it's calm, then we'll open them. Don't ask me how he knows, but he's yet to be wrong, that elf of ours. 
What's this execution about? Go to the square. Say for yourself. To aim for debauchery. For debauchery? In Flotsam. Must have gone on a real romp, that one. Ah, they're hanging a celebrity. I want to see that. the plan. We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Tris. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Skoya two. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bards hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Temeria, or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, a freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! <laughs> Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman! I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman! Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do! Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Hell, I'm anyway. Look here, out! Assaulted an officer! Oh. What the hell is going on here? 
I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few ploughing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? You have no right to hang them. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the king. Well, well. Blue stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoia'tael falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Roger. Listen here. You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Labalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes! Nice speech. You might as well have said outright that non-humans slew Foltest. My subjects know exactly who the enemy is. Out in that forest, grow careless for a moment, and you're a dead man. Whereas the non-humans here in town are all friendly. Friendlier than the merciless bastards out there. We let the Scoia'tael inside, and they'll skin us alive just before they slit our throats. Here, even the slightest sense of safety is an illusion. We'll not succumb to it for a moment. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, and they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we owe, we owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Hmm, a notice board. Might find something interesting here. Close. Innkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! 
Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Well, I've got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Marifeld, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. And neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John of Talus remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Labs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Metalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest Killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, and cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Stay away from me. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. So this are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. 
Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it and come on. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kairan was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Marigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. Arrow always said, go on. Go on somewhere, friend. Say something, or did you just fart? Coming. You got it coming. By your service. <laughs> Ever seen the river monster, the Karen? I have. What? I'm not the talkative kind. Speak up. The monster is as big as a barn. 
with giant tentacles, snatches men from boat decks and cattle off the shore. It's slimy like a snail, but fast as a thirsty vampire. Say somewhere, something. friend. But did you just fart? Welcome, welcome. It's your you catch, Jack. Yeah. No, working my arse off like a stagecoach. Oh. Ah, people, people. Greetings. Psst. White-haired one. I have an offer for you. Greetings, white-haired one. I could do with your help. You see, I'm looking for a certain thing. I'm no robust. I know who you are. I'll be straight. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of orans. Sounds good. What do you want me to do? The formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself? He deals in incense. One type is particularly popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways? I'll see what I can do. Bloody hell! What? What, Jared? What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. The sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage alone. You can split that reward if you wish. Have it your way. But if the sorceress fails, you'll be stuck here with your goods till winter. Your losses would be far higher than the cost of hiring me. See you. Wait a minute there. No need to get cross. Time is coin. I understand that very well. If your participation will expedite the matter, so be it. We'll add two fistfuls of orans, though our pouches will be empty. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the witcher, damn it. I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That ploughing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Now leave me be. Don't try anything stupid.
Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to the cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Old Test's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive, but if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. We've got a wounded man here. Grab him, boy. He's got the bundle. Don't fuck this guy. Fine mess you have here. Dwarves stealing bread from the mouths of honest craftsmen. Here comes the Witcher. Think he'll agree? No, I... I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Ha! Greetings. A word, if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a Witcher, we wonder if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Why not? Splendid! 
Excellent. Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment. Don't overdo it. Greetings! What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with a non-human community. Mind if I have a look at your books? Take your time. No hurry. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey! Many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansaville purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. The non-humans in Flotsam are organised? We aren't. But we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorbeth. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair.
The gods have no love for your kind. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every ship joke that anyone's ever thought of. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. The massacre in Rivia it came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Don't worry, Trace. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. I know you. I can see you're dying to ask me. What is it? All right, Fessa. What happened to Fultestal? Want to know the version that is yet to make it to Flotsam? The king died in mysterious circumstances. The witcher Geralt, his sword covered in blood, was discovered standing over his corpse. Did you kill him? This will stay between us, I promise. The killer escaped before I could get him. I'm being set up. So what are you gonna do? Run around swinging your sword, hoping the killer walks into range? I don't have to. The killer's in the forest with the Squieto, and he knows I'm here. We'll find each other. Geralt, please don't do anything stupid. Don't stick your neck out. If Lorito finds out you were involved in Coltus's assassination... <sighs> you gave Vernon a full report on Flotsam. Seen anything unusual around here? They've got some amazing women at the brothel. You should take a look. One of them. You know what I mean. A town like any other. It's got a harbor, an inn, and a stinking muddy river. That's what an ordinary man would say. But we poets also look into people's souls. And things are not good. I saw a robbery sanctioned by law. Town watchmen laughing as they confiscated goods, all the while talking about how they'd finally bring order to the town. I saw drunken thugs beat up an elf in the long no one had flinched. I know these things happen everywhere, but here, it's not motivated by hatred or misguided attempts at meeting out justice. People are driven by cold calculation. Always looking for opportunities to get a little richer. I need information. Anything that could help me track down the King Slayers. I only know gossip. Things folk have been saying since Demofan's death. People are throwing out blame left and right. One day it's the Elves, another the Nilf Guardians, then it's Rivians. Let me guess. The suspects also include a Zeracanian alchemist and a group of halflings. Bold theory, that. But the mob comes up with even better ones. Know what? Frankly, the most worrying effect of these assassinations is the chaos they've unleashed in people's minds. What do you mean? I mean chaos. People don't know what to think, who's good and who's evil. And these are tough times. Who knows what's going to happen? So, Mr. Master Spy, What's new in the world of politics? Bard singing about anything interesting these days? Eddard's in trouble. Henselt and his great army are nearing the Pontark and will afford it and strike any day. Wow, we haven't had a war in a long time. Like all little boys, he likes to play with his soldiers. But I don't think Ketlin will have an easy time of it. Eddard's borders are guarded by Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Who's she, some mercenary? A peasant girl and self-proclaimed commander of something called the Adernian Voluntary Militia. Fighting women and bards who play politics. These are strange times. I'm having flashbacks, Dandelion. 
What have you remembered? My own death. I saw that with my own eyes, as I've told you many times. Yennefer gave her life to save yours. I thought you might have remembered what happened afterwards. I mean, how the devil can you be here now? I hear you, I see you, you're breathing. I, I mean, you're just alive. And alive, I've had a flashback or two. I don't know everything yet. Good to see you, Zoltan. What are you doing so far from home? It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenrig, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning like a vote. Oh, fuck it. Out of sight, out of mind. Farewell to your daughter, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's Breckenrigs. I'm a plain merchant, and I've made my peace with that. Do you know someone named Cedric? No, <laughs> We drank each other under the table last Saturday. I barely made it home. Where do I find him? Oh, most times gazing at the forest from a tower near Lobenden. Strange about that one. And a heavyweight when it comes to drink. Thanks. Gems for Schiller de Tanzaville. Requires precision, but it's well paid work. Jewelry? Not quite. The sorceress is building a magical contraption. Spends her days staring at it. A regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere with it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. Some temperament for those sorceresses, I'm telling you. good swordsmith or blacksmith here? There's a small smithy by the wall. Quite basic. The tools probably remember the conjunction of the spheres, but it'll do for weapon repairs. They also enhance swords with runes and add ornamentation to armor. Just don't do anything that'll make you look like dandelion at the opening of a new brothel. You could also look in on some merchants. I don't think the readers robbed them of everything yet. How are those biceps holding up, Sultan? Hard as a bull's bollocks. Arm wrestling's a dwarfing pastime. We ought to try it sometime. I'll arm wrestle you anytime. Now, even. Show me those bull's bollocks, then. into my old mates Yarpin or Sheldon. Promise me you'll take them on. You'll be surprised. Stay away from Just don't start any brawls. Peace and quiet. Get it? Of course. I've got my eye on you. all over the commander of Voltest's special forces. The blue stripes aren't exactly popular among common folk, in case you hadn't noticed. Like anyone who does the dirty work. Now, Laredo's a soldier. The worst scum gets posted to dumpy border towns like this. Incompetent fools who show off their authority to a bunch of grimy peasants. We arrived in Flotsam, we saw the killer, we pissed everyone off. What next? 
If the Kingslayers and Yorbeth's care, we'll have to get them both. If we go out into that forest to look for elves, all we'll find is our own death. We'll visit Laredo as invited. Maybe a hick hitting a bunch of imbeciles, but this is his territory and we could prove useful. A little town deep in the forest, terrorized by Squiatel. You should be in your element, Roach. Flotsam isn't just any old town, Geralt. It's Merrick, Redania, Kedwin, and Edir. The largest kingdoms in the north. Know what they all have in common? The Pontar Valley. A strip of land they've been battling over for generations. Exactly. And here's Flotsam, on the border between Temeria and Edir, with Kedwin lying in wait just the other side of the marshes, at the very edge of the Pontar Valley. Stuck in the middle like a candle up the arse. The north's most important trade routes meet here. Every caravan has to come through Flotsam, and anyone who wants to place their cargo on a boat on this section of the river has to bear Lurido in mind. They say Henselt of Kedwin has gathered an army and is heading for Bergen. The Pontar Valley will be on fire soon, while we, Geralt, are sitting in Flotsam, the gateway to the valley. I'd like to believe it's pure coincidence and the killer just followed the squirrels here. Naive, to say the least, Richard. So long, Rich. I guess the crisis ate away those 8,000 orange from the people.